Oh, let's do another little unboxing, shall we? Now this is quite exciting. Hopefully you can read that if you've got some eyes. And we've got ourselves a 100 litre compressor here. Now I'm going to do, a, I'm going to unbox it and then we're going to have a look um, afterwards to see what it's like and how it works and whether it's actually any good. Now SGS seem to be a fairly good company and they seem to have fairly good stuff. I've got a load of their toolboxes and seats and stuff so hopefully a compressor was a good choice. Let's uh, have a look. It seems that the box will open from the top. Yes, it does open from the top, so I was right. This is what happens when you open it up for the first time. Seems to have a little bit of damage on the packing now. Hopefully it's just the packing that's a little bit damaged. We've got the wheels, or well, a wheel, one wheel, because it's wheel. it can be wheel mounted. I'm probably not going to wheel mount mine because where I'm going to put it under the bench, if I put the wheels on it, it might be too high. Well, I'm not sure yet, I may do. We've got some stuff and some instructions as well there. Let's put those, put them all to one side for a moment. And we've got a bit more packing, a little bit of packing. A little bit more packing. Oh, the feet just fell off the bench. That's never a good thing, is it, eh? When your feet fall off the bench. Get rid of that packing, and this is what we've got inside the box. Yep, yeah, that's how it comes in the box, like that. It seems fairly well packed. I was hoping that it would be, you know, for something that's quite this sort of money that you're spending on one of these compressors. You would hope that it would be well packed. I always say a company that takes pride in their packing is a good company if the product is good. So, let's get it out of the box and have a look to see what it's like. Let's have a look then. A bit of a handle by the looks of things we've got there. Let me put that there a minute. Let's put that out of the way over there. Um, look at this bag. The other wheel. The other wheel is there underneath it. So there we go. That's what we've got. So let's, uh, I'm going to put it together now, and put it together and I might turn it on in this video, maybe, I think I probably will, and then we'll run through it all and I'll give you all the specs of what it, you know, what it does, with the sort of airflow and all that kind of stuff. So this is what we've got after I've put it all together. I'm going to have to take this handle off to fit it where I want to fit it. I want to fit it under this thing here. Um, get rid of my old compressor and get rid of that. It will fit under there. Yeah, I didn't. I knew that it weren't going to fit with this handle. Obviously, before I got it, I done. I got the measurements and measured it up, and it will fit under there. Plenty of room around it for ventilation and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to have to remove the handle. But I put the handle on it so that you can see what it looks like. You know, this is what you get. This is it. Um, so you've obviously got to do a few things. If you you want to read the instructions and it tells you exactly what you need to do um, to get it, you know, for your first sort of run or first start up or whatever you want to call it. Um, this one, my one, I wasn't expecting it to, but it actually came with a bit of compressor oil in it and it's at the mark of where it should be, so I'm not going to have to put any in it. I did get some anyway, because I didn't expect it, because when you buy something, they don't usually ship it with, uh, you know, oil in it, but they did this time, so brilliant. And you have to put your air filters on. You've got air filter, one on that one, and one on the other side. And you have to put the breather in for the uh, oil filler thingy in the jig. And that's what, pretty much all you have to do. You've got to put the feet on, you've got two feet, you've got your two wheels. You need to have a couple of spanners, and the 17 mil for the nut and bolt for the both of the wheels. And these ones, I think, were 13s, if I remember correctly. And you need a socket to put them ones on because you have to get it, you, know, you can't use a spanner, there's not enough room. 
that's what you get the cable that you get with it here's a reasonable length you know I mean I could do with one a little bit longer but if I put it facing front ways there it will reach up to that plug up there so that will be all right I won't have any issues there but that's how long it is I don't know how long it is but you get a rough idea it's not too bad and we'll see you got your your dual uh, your double outlets there and all that kind of stuff we'll go over that in the next video when I'm going to turn it on and I'm because before I do like um, before I actually tell you that what it's if it's any good or not I'm going to use it for a few weeks obviously so I can see what it's like this is just like you're getting the first view the first impressions of it with me so you obviously got your motor in that black housing then you got your twin cylinders or pistons or whatever you'd like to put you know refer to them as Americans are very strange sometimes aren't you so that's what you get you got your on and off switch here um, oh yeah you got your little drain is under here looks like it's fairly easy to get to to drain out your water every now and again everyone's got their own preferences it does tell you in the instructions and you are supposed to depressurize compressors a lot of people don't especially the bigger ones you're supposed to depressurize them and, uh, and all that kind of stuff and you're supposed to let the water out after every time so it looks like it's fairly easy to get to you've got a little bit of plate here tells you some information that it won't ever ever focus on so if you're looking at getting one of these you'd have been on the website probably and you would have seen that you can get it in different sort of bundles and I've got a bundle, you can just get the compressor on its own, or you can get a bundle, and I've got a bundle thing. So I think I should have some hose um, and some oil and things. I think that's what I should, I think that's the one I've got. Anyway, we're going to find out when I open up this box, because this should be all that stuff, I hope. This is what we've got in this box. Lovely packaged. <laughs> well done, SGS. No, you can't get everything right. But at least they haven't leaked. So we've got one litre of compressor oil. And we've got another litre of compressor oil as well. So we've got two litres of compressor oil. Oh. Something that's broken and uh, doesn't have anything in the box anymore. Looks like what was supposed to be in there was a Euro quick release air fitting. So I'm sure we'll find that rattling around in the bottom of the box somewhere. And we've got another one here, a smaller one in the box, in the, in the packing. Another one that's just about to fall out, it's all broken up. And then we've got some, some hose, we've got 10 meter of rubber air hose. This will come in very handy. I needed a bit of that, the stuff I've got is very low quality. And another one, so I've got 20 meters of it in all. I'm gonna have one on each fitting, because obviously this compressor's got dual, dual outlets. This is the quick release that was supposed to be in the other packet. And then we've got air filter, water trap regulator, and lubricator. Nothing else inside that box. So that's everything that I got in my bundle. They do different bundles. You can get a bundle where you get tools, you get um, uh, you know, like saws and, and wrenches and all that kind of stuff. Depends what bundle you want. Or you can just get the compressor on its own. Not that you can even see any of that. So just for those of you that may panic a little bit and you know like to read the instructions let's have a quick little look through them this is what you get on page one it's just you know the specification and everything it tells you all the specs of this particular compressor it's a model sc 100v power 2.2 kilowatt 3 horsepower voltage is 230 volts frequency 50 hertz motor poles 2p rated speed 2850 rpm current is 10 amps um, oh yeah, by the way, this does run off your ordinary 13 amp plug. And you can just stick it in your wall. Delivery is 4.6 CFM. It's not 4, sorry, 14.6 CFM. 
Um, we've got discharge pressure 115 psi. The restart pressure is 80 psi. And the tank capacity is 100 litres. We know that because you would have bought a 100 litre compressor. Uh, the dimensions, there's the dimensions, blah blah blah. That's all that boring stuff. And then it's just got some stuff here. Tell you to do some other bits and bobs. And then there's some warning labels and signs and what you should do if they come up and all that kind of rubbish and stuff that nobody really cares about. Uh, you got some more stuff here. If you want to pause, you can pause and read it by all means. Go ahead. Uh, there's how to put the wheels on in your little foot. And there's some more stuff that you should do before you start it up, you know. Preparation for starting. This is the only bit that I read. I wanted to make sure that I did it right. Obviously, it's a relatively, it's not expensive, but it's still a lot of money to be spending. And you want to make sure you look after it, don't you? There you go. So there's all your stuff. Make sure your oil level's all there, all that kind of stuff. Basically, just tells you a lot of stuff about your compressor and how to use it and how to maintain it. A little more random stuff there. So that's the instructions. Now as far as this compressor goes, there it is down there. I've just put it on for its, I've just turned it on for its first turn on, um, which I was going to do in the other video, but let's have a look. So I've, I've turned it on, I've brought it up to pressure and it's um, been sitting there now for about 15 minutes on that pressure. I did notice, um, actually, that this regulator only regulates the left one. The right one doesn't... Uh, see, that that one goes down. The right one doesn't. I didn't realise that. But that's, that's not a problem for me, I suppose. But just in case some of you wanted both of them to be regulated, it only does one. And uh, there you go, if you turn it back up again. That's the maximum. It won't go no more than that. And so we're currently on the, the maximum, about 115, nearly 8 bar. It won't go anymore, it's as far as that goes. So, so that one's fixed, that one is variable, it would appear. But other than that, we appear to be going well. I'm just making sure that, because obviously, before, before I put it into its little home, when I make a space for it, I want to make sure that it is free, it hasn't got any leaks, and it is perfect. Right, so that's nearly it then for this, um, could you call it a review? It's an unboxing. Yeah, nearly it for the unboxing. But just in case some of you are wondering how loud this actually is. Um, so let's, uh, I'm just going to turn it on and we'll see how loud it is. I've let a bit of the pressure out, so hopefully we should come on when we should do. This is how loud it is. <laughs> In case some of you wanted a quiet one or a loud one, or we just don't care, that's for that. So if you did like this, then please stay tuned for the, uh, for the next instalment. So there we go. If that looks like something that you would like, or it seems interesting to you, or you think about getting one, then Stay tuned in the next couple of weeks. I'm gonna use it for a while and see what it's actually like and if it's any good. And if it is, I'll recommend it to you. If it ain't, I'll say don't get it. Sweet.